I'm Tara Linhart, and I'm here in Tupu, Bhutan, and I am very happy to have two honored guests today. Uh, and your name? Uh, I'm Nankit Lipcha. I'm Jo Lipcha. Okay, great. Um, and the language that you're going to be telling us about today is? Lipcha. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, um, also, I think we, we discussed before, there may be variations of Lepcha, right? So in Sikkim, they speak it Lepcha also, yes. but it may be a, a variation or different than what you guys grew up speaking here in Bhutan, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, our language is, uh, in Bhutan, our Lepcha language is a little bit, uh, what to say, like uh, direct, no? Mm, not like in no uh, formal. Less no, formal. No, no, yeah. Less, less yeah. formal, let's say, less formal. Perfect. So where do Lepcha speakers in, in Bhutan tend to live or are they scattered around? Or? Yes, actually it is, uh, we find all around Bhutan but mostly southern Bhutan. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, the, the southern area is southern area. closer to Sikkim. Yes, area. Sikkim. Yeah. Sikkim. Okay, perfect. Um, so in your language also, what do you call your language or what do you call people who speak your language? Uh, it's, we call lepcha, uh, okay. lepcha in, uh, uh, we call rong. And rong. what does rong mean? Uh, rong means lepcha. Uh, we call uh, lepcha to lepcha, we call rong. So a person uh, who speaks lepcha uh, we call rong. is wrong. Rong. And is that for rong a man mean, and for women? Uh, for men we call rongka and for women we call rong meat. Rong meat. Rong meat. Yes. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, so what would be a common greeting if you see your friend or your family coming and you want to say? Yeah, we say Kambrimo. And what does that mean? Kambrimo means uh, just welcome or like a kuzampo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and then uh, that would be your most common greeting if, you, if you're seeing your friend coming? You'd say? Yes, that's a common greeting. Uh, okay, um, what is the word for you, like a person like you? means ho. Okay. Mm. And is that for formal and informal? Same? Uh, ho, we use formal, yes. Same, same. 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 How would you say, how are you? Uh, or are you fine? Or? Ho arimdo. Ho arimdo. Ho arimdo means are you fine? Are you fine? So that's basically, you don't, yes. yeah, yes. that's how you'd phrase it. Yes. Um, and then the word for I. Mm. How, what is the word for I? Go. 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 Okay, so how would I say, I am fine? Go arimdo. Go arimdo. 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 Okay. Um, and what about the word for name? Name. Abriam. Abriam. Okay. How about the word for what? Uh, shu. Okay, so how would I say, what is your name? Ados Abriam Shu. Ah, and you put a. At the end, you put a boo. Boo, yes. That and that means, means a, that just makes it more polite. Yes, like yes. more polite. Yeah. Brian, shubu, yes. Ah, like how the the zonka yeah. happens yeah. la at the end yes. to make it more polite. Um, so, do speakers of Lepsa, if they're speaking English, do they put boo at the end of sentences, like in zonka, when when you're in Timpu and you speak in English, people say hello, la. Uh, yeah. I'll have some more tea, la. You just put yeah. la. Do they, does Lepsa do that with boo? No. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't. Okay. Use, okay. Use okay. That. <laughs> yeah. Just interesting. Yeah. So, um, how would I say my? Uh, means susa. Sisa. 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 Okay. And then my, uh, what? How would you say like my name is Tara? Yes. Susa Brian Tara. Ah. Okay. Okay. Cool. How about the word for where? Where means uh, shibi. Okay. Where are you going? Shibi. Yes, Shibi no. Yeah, I think everyone in Asia does yes, this one. I was going to question. Yes. So where means. Shibi. Yeah. So how about uh, where are you going? Shibi non tam. What is it louder? Shibi non tam. Shibi non tam. Uh, okay. And how about where is it? Like if I lost my glasses or I lost something, where is it? How would I say that? Shibi uh, niam. Shibi niam. Yes. Uh, and that's like it. Yes, it. It. Perfect. Um, okay, so how would I say it is here? Abinaito. Mm -hmm. So what is the word for here? Here means uh, here means Abinaito. Naito. 
I've been nine months nine here. Nine is here? Yes. Nine. Yeah, what is there? There means Beba. Beba. Oh. Okay, this is different than the other ones. Um, okay, so how about eat? eat to eat. eat. Zo. 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 Uh, and what is the word for rice? Zo. Same, it's same. Uh. <laughs> So, so then, uh, how would you say, like, please eat? Please eat. I can't assume. Zoka. Zo. Zo, zo, ka. Zo, zo, ka. Zo, ka. Mm. zo, zo, ka. What does ka mean? A like command? Ka. It means like command. Kanus. Kanus, yeah. That's <laughs> Nepali. Yes, yes, yes. We're using a little yes, Nepali yes. translation. <laughs> uh, uh, and how would you say, have you eaten? Uh, zo, zo, harbu. Have you eaten means zozo harbu. Harbu. Oh, okay. Zozo harbu. Okay. How do you say when you're full? Go kot mam. Yeah, that's always important in any culture to be like, no, I'm full. Stop feeding me. Yeah, right. Yes. Uh, in lecture we say go kot mam. Uh -huh. no? So go is I. Go is I, and I'm full. Right. So you don't go. talk about your stomach no. like they do in Pakistan. Okay. Um, how about what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Means ho shizuka. And and ho is you. Ho shizuka. Yeah, and that's for formal, informal, same, same. Same, same. Okay, okay. How about what have you been up to? Like if you see your friends and you're like, oh, what you been doing? Yes, ho shizuka. Ho shizuka. Zuka. Yes. How about how many? How many? Shetzana. Sumiu sedetniam. How many means you're talking about the how many uh, different? So let's say people. What's the word for people? Sedetniam. Sedzananiam. What's people? Yeah. Just people. People. Sumio. Sumio, like Monte. Sumio. Sumio. And then how many people? Sumio sedetniam. Sumio sedetniam. Ah, uh, sedetniam. Uh, okay. So how about um, how old are you? Ho nam shetuna. Uh, is there a word yes. for age? Yes, nam, nam. Nam is age. Yes. Ah. Nam shikyuna. Cool. Yeah. That word confused me because I think it's yeah. name. Yes. <laughs> In Pali. Um, uh, mixed, no? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> um, okay, so how about we just count to ten? Yes. So, um, one. Ka, ne, sam, fuli, fumu, toro, kukyo, kuku, kukyo, kuti. This day. Wow. So those are very different. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Um, and then how about the word for good? Ajak. Okay. And it is good. Ajak lah. Ajak niam. Ajak also. So different synonyms, or is it honorific and more familiar? Ajak is good. Ajak niam is there. Very good. Oh, like yeah. name same, oh, like very. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I should ask Ajit. everyone for very. Mm, yes. So the word for very is. Ajak niam. Niam is very, very. Very name same like that. Uh, okay. Um, so we have good. Uh, not good. Mm. Not good means majakna. Majakna. Majak. Majak. Majak is no. no, no. So you can put that in front of anything yes. and just yes. makes it yes. negation. No. Okay, um, so how about cold? Like, what is the word for tea? Tea cold, no? Hume. Hume is tea? Jo a hume means tea. Jo. Oh, jo? Ja, uh, tea is cold. Mm. What is the word for tea? Jo. Jo. Jo a hume. A hume. A hume is cold. Okay, so what about like the weather is cold? Today is cold. Strong. So zong am. Strong. Strong. Today means strong. No? Strong. Strong. So zong am. So, 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 so. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And how about hot? Oh no, wait. What about person? What about if I'm cold? Go mm -hmm. so Go as I. Okay. So, uh, so what about hot then? The the tea is hot. Uh, tea is hot. Means. You gotta talk louder. What? Donam. Donam. Yeah. Donam. <laughs> He's so quiet. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, and then it Where? is hot today. The tunam. No. Weather is tunam. Mm. Strong tunam. Strong tunam. 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 And then like I am so hot. Go so tunam. Ah, oh, so still tunam. Go so tunam. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then word for mother. Amu. Amu. Mm -hmm. Father. Abu. 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 Yeah. 
Uh, okay. Uh, sister, is there older and younger sister? Anom. Anom? Ying. Younger is Ying, no? Ying. Both, uh, son, both brother and sister, younger, they are Ying. Ying. Ah, okay, so how about brother, older, brother? Brother, Anom. Anom. Brother, anom. Anam. Oh, yes, anam and sister Anom. 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 Ah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then what do speakers of your language say, uh, like if they're leaving? What would be a, like a goodbye or a, you know, see you later or stay well? What would they say? Go. That means I'm leaving. Okay, go so just say that day. real distinctly. So go is I, and yeah. then leaving. Leaving la non tam go. Leaving la non tam. La non tam. La non tam. No. Yes. Go okay. Non -tam. Uh, so if you're leaving, yeah. it's kind of like okay, I'm leaving. Mm. What if no, what if you're staying, no. and you're not leaving? What if they're leaving? Ajak mat na la chuno. How does that become? Ajak mat na la chuno means go safely. Ah, go safely. Yeah, a lot of places yes. have that. Okay, so that's that's great. Thank you so much for for helping us here with with Lepcha, uh in Bhutan. Sounds like or the the Lepcha that you guys grew up speaking. Um, and uh, again, I'm Tara Linhart, and your name's again Memkit Lepcha, Jo Lepcha. Thank you so much, and uh, join us for another another episode. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>